Number one, milkshakes. Now, number one, come on, folks. They're loaded with added sugar. These sweet treats are typically loaded with sugar syrups, flavored syrups, and sugary toppings. Consuming large amounts of added sugar is one of the big causes of weight gain, insulin resistance, and an increased risk of chronic conditions. Number two, quite frankly, they lack any nutritional value. Fast food milkshakes are often lacking in essential nutrients. They're typically low in vitamins, minerals, and other beneficial compounds. This means that you're consuming a beverage that is primarily high in empty calories. It's made with milk. Most milkshakes at fast food restaurants are most likely made with casein A1 milk, a highly inflammatory milk protein. This lectin-like protein is caused by a mutation in cow genes in our American cows and can lead to multiple health issues. Most people in my patient population who believe that they are lactose intolerant are actually just having a reaction to this lectin-like protein and not lactose at all. Stay away from the milkshakes. Number two, salads. Now, the dressing is usually the disaster. Now, while salads can be a healthier option, it's crucial to be mindful of the dressing choices. Opting for lighter homemade dressings or requesting dressings on the side can really help control portion sizes and reduce the consumption of healthy ingredients. First of all, most of these salads that are in fast food restaurants are often higher in calories and fats than the burger or chicken McNugget options, which shocks most people. Now, despite being a healthier, quote, food choice, these dressings are an unmitigated health disaster. Most of these dressings contain oils such as soybean, cottonseed, or sunflower oils, which are not only high in calories, but are high in an omega-3 short-chain fatty acid called linoleic acid. Linoleic acid is an essential fatty acid. We have to have a little bit in nature. The ratio of linoleic a short chain omega 6 fat to a short chain omega 3 fat called linolenic acid is about 3 to 5 to 1. Three parts omega 6, one part omega 3. These soybean oils, these cottonseed oils, these sunflower oils are mostly linoleic acid, 25 to 50 times the normal amount that would be found in nature. And now study after study shows that these oils are converted into dangerous aldehydes, which I've actually had a podcast on, that damage your mitochondria at the functional level and are the main cause of inflammation from these oils. That means they contribute to weight gain and they increase your risk of heart disease. Now, there are many artificial sugars and artificial ingredients. These fast food salad dressing contain flavorings, natural and unnatural, that increase the flavor and extend the shelf life. These artificial sugars, these sugars are often hidden in various names, such as high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, and they'll add to the excessive calorie intake and have negative health impact. Most of these salad dressings are loaded with sodium. I once interviewed a chef, a James Beard award-winning chef, who I asked the secret to his salad dressings. And he said, oh, the secret is easy. I add salt. Sodium dramatically enhances the flavor of food. And my dirty little secret is adding sodium to my salad dressings. And you think that the ingredients I use are dramatically better. And food companies know this as well. So they use sodium to enhance the flavor profile. 
The problem is that excessive sodium intake can increase high blood pressure, heart disease, congestive heart failure. So consuming salads with these high sodium dressing can undermine the perceived healthiness of your salad. Instead, several of my contemporaries take their balsamic vinegar, their apple cider vinegar, and a small flask of olive oil when they go out to eat. Even if they're desperate for a fast food meal, they can always season their fast food meals with those brought along dressings. Number three, filet of fish. Oh, don't get me started. First of all, a filet of fish sandwich is thoughtfully, oh, maybe the best healthy option. The breaded fish patty is deep fried in lactin rich soybean oil, peanut oil, cottonseed oil. As you heat these things, these increase the trans fats. Every time you reheat the oil, and quite frankly, the oil is not changed for weeks at a time, the trans fat increases. The aldehydes increase. The acrimides increase, all attached to your healthy filet of fish sandwich. Remember, it's breaded, which makes it a lectin bomb. Now, the sandwich is usually served with a high-fat tartar sauce and processed cheese, which bears no relation to actual cheese, further adding to the calorie and fat load. Now, it completely lacks fiber. Now, while there is some protein in the fish patty, there is nothing else of any benefit in that entire meal. It's basically bad fats and bad empty fiber carbohydrates. Unfortunately, the fish patty usually includes other additives, preservatives, and fillers to enhance the flavor and prolong the shelf life. Now, that's totally different than what you would get by getting a fresh or even frozen piece of fish at your local supermarket or fishmonger. Additionally, same thing applies. If it's a fast food, even a filet of fish, you can virtually guarantee that there is tons of sodium in there to give you a perceived enhanced flavor. And I've already told as much as about sodium as I care to. Number four. Now, here's a good choice. Not nachos or a fried burrito. Now, nachos sound pretty healthy. Oh, it's corn chips and corn is great. And I won't eat very much. Nachos and fried burritos are notorious for being served in large portions, which encourages overeating. Now, the combination of their addictive flavors, the crunchy textures, and the generous toppings can make it easy to consume more than the recommended portion size. And I don't have to tell you, overeating, supersizing is one of the big contributors to weight gain. Same problem. These are always fried in unhealthy oils. They're always fried in soybean oil, cottonseed oil, sunflower oil, and these are one of the biggest sources of this overload of short-chain omega-6 fats in our diet. The melted cheese. This is not real cheese, folks. This is a cheese-like food that is made with unhealthy oils. Additionally, you're going to get a fatty meat filling, which is from corporate-raised animals that are fed unhealthy corn and soy. So it is a giant lectin omega-6 bomb, and you're just loaded with inflammation. So those are the four worst things you can get at the fast food restaurant. But the amazing thing is that healthy salad may be one of the worst choices you can make in your pursuit of a healthy fast food meal. What can you get at a fast food restaurant? Well, not much, but you can actually order a salad and don't put anything on it. I have done that a few times and it works just fine. 
you won't miss the dressing and you'll actually get some health benefit. Not going to take me up on that offer. Order something protein style. Ask for a lettuce wrap on your burger. Ignore the processed cheese. If you can find some grilled onions or if they offer mushrooms, put that on it. So that's your best fast food option. But just remember, most of the meat in these fast food restaurants is not from a healthy, grass-fed, pastured cow. It's from an industrial process. And that's not your friend. Even that chicken patty has not been fed healthy food. And if you got to have a chicken patty, same thing. Don't have it on a bun. Don't have it breaded. Have it on some lettuce. And that's the best you can do in a bad situation. And please don't ask for the spreads and toppings. More amazing episodes just like this one. Watch now. Easy thing to remember. Roast your coffee either light or medium if you want polyphenols. 